What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And of course, we are starting our V3.6.2 content breakdown with the epic Italian players. Del Piero, Blitz Curler version. You've got Francesco Totti and, of course, Baggio, who we're hovering over here. Now, straight off the rip, I'm going to go through Totti because I know a lot of people probably won't go deep for Totti. Um, obviously, there will be a couple of people that will like him and obviously he's their favorite player. But I think that Totti is probably the weakest of the bunch. Not weakest in that he can't be in-game for you. Not weakest in that you can't train him up, but he definitely requires from the rip the most uh, training, the most kind of like investment in him. He's down as a classic number 10. Off the rip with the ball control at 80 and the finishing at 85, you're going to be kind of forced to play him as an SS unless you really want to invest into his player skills. Because this is the problem with Toddy, right? As a classic number 10. He does have knuckle shot, dip it shot and long range shooting as well as outside curler and first time shot. Five skills for shooting but he's down as a classic number 10 attacking midfielder, and he only has one touch pass and weighted pass. You will definitely, if you want to make him endgame, I'm talking like, you know, push and rank endgame, right? You will definitely need low lofted, or at a minimum true passing. And we'll show you in a second why this is a bit of an issue with Toddy, right? Amazing run and long range is his play styles. He's 180 CM, 82 KG. He's going to be a little bit clunkier than the other two boys. That's not a huge deal if you're playing him and you're used to playing with classic number 10s. But kind of run and gun attacking midfielders or SS's, Dottie is definitely a shoot first attacking midfielder. And a lot of people don't use shoot first attacking midfielders. And you pair that with the classic number 10, you pair that with a couple of lacking uh, skills. I definitely think that Toddy is probably the weakest of the bunch. But in saying that, he could be insane for you if you play with him and you get used to play with him, playing with him. He will remind me of Kaka, except not as explosive. A lot of people love Kaka, some people can't stand him and they don't use him effectively. Um... But yeah, I definitely think that Toddy is going to be good. But I feel like that just because of the skills and you can't choose the skills, I definitely think a lot of people will probably not go as deep for Toddy. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. But it's definitely a good card. I would recommend get your ball control, tight possession, finish and acceleration and balance up to 90. And wherever else their stats go, that is where I would play him as a really advanced attacking midfielder or a double attacking midfielder or an SS. Now, it's going to get interesting here with Roberto Baggio, down as a 27-year-old deep line forward. This guy actually reminds me of Neymar, so bear with me a second. He's under 75 kg, and he's under 175 cm. What does that do? Well, it affects his animation, his motion, and it affects how he glides along the pitch. Obviously, network connection uh, pending, but uh, yeah, this is a really, really, really good phenomenal card, lads, honestly. He doesn't have a player skill that's showtime like Blitz Curler or Del Piero. But look at the skills. This is what I'm talking about. There's no real work needed apart from giving him flip flap. He has double touch. He has soul control. He also has uh, one touch pass and true passing as a deep line forward. That's all you need. You don't need to give him any more passing skills. He has outside curler, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, long range curler. And of course, he's got cut behind in turn. So it's a lovely, lovely card. Very well balanced. They've definitely shown this card a lot of love. And with his own personal booster, which is this, the ball carrying plus two, Dribbling, tight possession, finishing, acceleration, balance and speed. All around that 80 to 84 mark. And when you've got 32 levels to play around with, with this Baggio, it's going to be a phenomenal card. Genuinely, I think this is going to be the most slept on card in terms of the GOAT tier. Because he's not he's not somebody that you think of be about being like rocket fast. Like if you're thinking about Baggio, if you remember Baggio playing or any clips of him, he wasn't like Mbappe level speed. But this isn't real football. This is eFootball. And I'm going to show you a build in a second sent in by Rezus. A couple of people have sent me builds, and we're going to show you the build here for Baggio. So this is the Baggio build as a CMF or an AMF, whichever that you want. It depends on how you want to play him. But you're going to be able to hit 90 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 balance, 99 tight possession, dribble and ball control. I would potentially probably, with this build, take off a little bit of ball control, dribble and a tight possession, and pump it into finishing. But that's just me, because I'm going to be playing him in that SS kind of CF role as a deep line forward. I wouldn't mess around too much with the play styles. I would pretty much play him as he is. Now, I have another version of Del Piero on Baggio. There's different versions of him that will probably come out in the future as well. But the balance on this card, any card, right? I'll give you a quick tip. If you've missed any of my training videos, right? Any card that is under 176 CM and under 76 kg, right? As you see here with, with uh, Baggio, he's 174 and 173. Any of those cards will be extremely good on the ball, as long as you have their balance plus 90. If you can get a plus 95 with tight possession 90, um, that is where to go with it, because they have they take on a different kind of like motion 
um, and ID. They're all based around the same kind of core template. So Baggio, Romario, uh, Saviola, all those are kind of like glued ball to their feet type runners. Um, and then obviously that's enhanced by the stats. But yeah, that is a phenomenal build. But it's all about Del Piero, boys. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. You know it's 150 pack. Um, 10 players are going to cost you 900 coins. It's all going to be about Del Piero. Yes, there is other players in this as well. Other Italian selections because this is an Italian only uh, selection. But it's going to be all about uh, Del Piero, lads. He's got the Blitz Curler as his Showtime skill. A lot of people have been waiting for a, an epic Blitz Curler. Yes, there was Son, there was Salah, there was, you know, Foden. But uh, this guy is a beast, man. This guy is definitely going to be a beast. And again, he's down as a creative playmaker, SS. But he's got long-range curler, blitz curler, long-range shooting, acrobatic finishing, heel trick, and first-time shot. As well as having cut behind and turn, chop turn in Marseille. Turn and true passing. He's not going to be your running gun, you know, double touch, ball roll, advanced double touch style. He's not going to be like that. He's going to be more direct, more silky. Um, and I definitely think he's going to be very, very, very decent. Because Konami are going to buff him very nicely with the blitz curler. And blitz curler is, it's not as broken but it still is really good. And I think in the build up to eFootball 25 or with eFootball 25, they'll probably improve this if they're revisiting old popular skills. Listen, it doesn't take Albert Einstein level of uh, intelligence, lads, to understand that Konami know and they're listening to what people are wanting. This pack is going to sell like absolute hotcakes, man. Seriously. Ball control, dribbling, finishing, acceleration and balance. Off the rip, this card is pretty much good to go without even leveling him up. Now he's got 30 levels. It's a 26-year-old uh, Baggio. He looks a bit pale there, lads. Looks like he's after seeing a ghost. But don't let that dissuade you from getting him if you are willing to spend. Can you get alternatives in this creative playmaker role as an SS? Yes, on the GP marketplace, of course you can, unless you're pushing rank. Does Del Piero become a goat here because of the blitz? I would say yes. And I definitely think that you can train him in a lot of different ways. We're going to take a look at a build here, which is 92 speed, 98 acceleration, 90 kick and power, 99 balance, 92 finish and 95 curl, and then 90 plus for offensive awareness down to tight possession. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Nothing really that you can change to this. His low pass and his lofted pass being low is a little bit of an issue um, because he's a creative playmaker. But I would pretty much be playing Del Piero Creative playmakers and play styles, lads, the actual play styles, prolific winger, creative playmaker, whole player, it's only for movement when you're not controlling them. What you want to be doing is the damage when you have Del Piero in your control. You're not going to be waiting for the AI to do all that for you because you're going to be using a lot of on-ball stuff with Del Piero. Excellent stats, fantastic qualities from Del Piero. I definitely think he is, with the Blitz Curler, going to be the pick of the pack. But let me know what you guys think. It is a good pack, honestly. I think that they're finally starting to put out some good packs. This... Any of the three boys here are, are phenomenal. I mean, you should be able to get one or two in about 60, 70 spins, maybe, if you get lucky. But let me know. A lot of people have spun for these. I think it's going to be a very popular pack. Pity that Toddy and Baggio don't have Showtime skills as well. I mean, Toddy having a uh, game-changing pass and Baggio having, I don't know, maybe phenomenal finishing would have been really nice. But let's see how we go with it. I'm going to be back with another uh, review very, very soon in a training guide. Let me know what you guys think of these cards. Let me know, did you spin or skip? And I'll chat you in a bit.